Yes, get guess who got brands talking. Brandlive.co.za Let's get your creativity flowing. This show has got all the juice on all your art news. None of that riff riff, just real authentic art from the coolest young creatives. You are now tuned into Carve Radio. Carve Radio. With Slap in my body. Lost. Thinking maybe only God could save me now. Man in the mirror won't hear me. Scared of heights, fell in love with the feeling of falling. So good, no good. Confusing the rest of smoke. I've got this addiction. Fight with you, I fight for you. Ride around, go fly with you. See, I'm only high with you. And who knows we might crash? Live forever on the way down. Don't care if we crash, cause we'll live forever on the way down. Call me your addict, do it to do it. Do it for freedom so they cannot hold me. I go O T O D A D D on that shit. Everybody got one, everybody got one. And you know you got one, everybody got one This addiction, I don't wanna get over you Only God can save me now You're like a man on a mission, mission. I don't wanna, but you want me to God, God just save me now Deep in the waters, I'm drowning, I think I'm loving it Might put a tag on that shit, and then get off Cause I'm lawless, but I flawless And I keep on falling, she a fee spirit in the goddamn tree. Pretty. Woo. Call me your addict. Do it to do it. Do it for freedom so they cannot hold me. I go O T O D A D D on that shit. Everybody got one. Everybody got one. And you know you got one. Everybody got one. This addiction. I don't wanna get over you. Only God can save me now. You're like a man on a mission. This addiction Oh, I wanna get over you You're like a man on a mission I don't wanna, but you want me to You're listening to brandlive.co.za You are now listening to Carve Radio with Lepe My Fadi and me. Well, welcome to it. <laughs> another Monday, another Monday, a beautiful day out here. We are here in Auckland Park, right here at 27 Boxes, and you are listening to Carve Radio. Yes, of course, um, you know who you're listening to. It's Lepe My Fadi, of course. And... The crazy guy is back in studio today. I get to why, because last week in Nelly, we took in none of fire, a whole lot of ladies. It was just so amazing. Like, our producers had fun, everybody was loving it. Uh, but, well, we're happy to have you back. Hi, listen, huh? Oh, so I'm the problem. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. I leave one week. I leave one week, and next thing it's filled with women. You're talking about hair. Did what? you hear the show? I I tr- I couldn't. Like actually, the, you guys called me yeah. while we were shooting, and you like, were like, "No, can you guys please <laughs> call me back later?" We're like, "Uh, like, excuse you." We were doing like an outside <laughs> shoot, and like we had I had a boom in my hand and mm-hmm. a phone on my hair, and you guys called, and then. I try to talk and then like action. I'm like, please call me back. But listen, didn't you know that we we're gonna call you? Like literally, you, know, you no, were like, time, guys, please call me, of please course, call I me. To be a part of the then we we'll call you. Then you're coming out with, but my no, please call me back. But it's okay. Hey man, I'm 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 not in charge on set, man. The director is king on set. Mm-hmm. Tell us about all of that. What were you doing out there? Um, we were recording sound for a movie that um. <laughs> A guy is doing. <laughs> a guy is doing. So you're not gonna talk about this movie. Are you gonna talk about the movie? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about the movie. I mean, our guest is um a young lady I met on set. Mm-hmm. Amazing little Ru- um firecracker. Mm-hmm. Um, she did like so much heavy lifting, like ten times more than me. Like okay, like so she's like you know 
She's here. Her name is Coco. Okay. Hey, Coco. And she has a nice hey. voice. And she's like, Hey, now. <laughs> say something. Don't say something. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How you guys doing? Hey. You see, and then she's like, um, Kana, what do you do, Coco? Tell everybody what you do. Um, I'm a student and I work part time with if I can help out um, on sets because you know I have to focus on my studies first. But mm. after that, then I gotta be out there to make those connections, guys. Yeah, man. And it's tough in this industry. So. Mm. And then she she did make some connections. I mean, um, I like her. Like she she didn't like me when we first met. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't <laughs> like Lucille when they meet them. Like, she was like, she was, yeah. I was like, I'm. I don't know. I was talking to someone. I'm like, yeah, I'm a nice person. And then Coco's like, mm, right. I don't think so. And then now we good. Well, now we good. Now, it was now, like a well. And it'd been like what a day in like five minutes. <laughs> what did he say? He's a lot though. I mean, he's a lot to take in. So I, I, I don't blame you. Whatever. It's okay. We understand. But tell us a bit uh, about like why you went into why you decided to study. Are you studying film? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. Um. Well, firstly, I wanted to be an actress. Okay. Yeah. What happened to that? I just realized it wasn't, I don't know, like, okay, well, firstly, I thought my parents about it. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was just like, and then I read more into what happens behind the scenes. And it made more sense to me. And I first did a short course in script writing. And okay. I actually enjoyed watching it go from my head to paper. And then I saw it on screen. Like, I was like, whoa. Mm. Okay, that's pretty dope. So. Oh, oh, you just saw how talent is. Talent is so, <laughs> it's so needy. Yeah, like talent nice. is like. Well, ta- not all talent. talent is like, it's no, not fair for you guys you know? to be saying that about talent because not all talent is like. That. Okay, like, very true. Very talent true. Talent yeah. is like, like, but, but we work with an amazing guy, um, yeah. Lutuli Tamini. Yeah. Um, he was like, you know, Lutuli Tamini, right? Mm-hmm. Like seasoned actor, but he was like the nicest person on yeah. set. Like, like the whole week, and there was a lot of problems that we like, we encountered and went mm. through. Yeah. But he was like the least. Yeah. He was like, you know what? Let me just give this kid some some time yeah, to right. yeah. figure it out. He mm-hmm. was like, but we had other talent and yeah, no yeah. comment. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think when it comes to talent, it's it, it's it's about those uh, people that are new in the game that kind of like just come in for the riff raff of it. On, like on, a, on I'm the so I'm so and you're like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean the, older no. actors, the older <laughs> actors on the we have Jet Novu guy as well. Yes, and the I older actors, yeah, yeah, the older actors yeah. were like you know. Doing mm. thing yeah, they're just about the scripts, getting everything exactly. right, being, being perfect. Being patient, exactly. yeah. 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 But then the younger ones mm-hmm. is like, yo, man, I'm, I'm, I'm too cool for this ish. Mm. Yeah, man. y'all gotta, y'all gotta respect my <laughs> hustle. You know? Okay, what's the film about? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, for mine, okay, I'm um, Mr. Script. One time, okay. I read the script once and I got it. Okay, so it's called um Letters of Hope. Okay, right? it's a film by Vusi Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, he um he's um. TUT graduate, mm-hmm. film graduate, I think 2016, 2015. Mm. Um, and um, the movie is about, you know, it's it's set in the 1970s actually, and it's about the struggle. So the main character and the father have a little quarrel. So it's like it's like an apartheid movie, but it's more but about it's, father and son. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like as in, you know, like the basic, like you said, wanting to do something, then you have to fight your parents about yeah, it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, so the father did something and he wanted the son to join. It's an apartheid story, but told in a completely yeah, different it's way. Not, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's I not like, add. it's not it's about anything. Like, I mean, we have like three Caucasians in the movie. Yeah. It's yeah, just, we only have like one cop and two like mm-hmm. backup cops. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's like one scene. So it's not really like, oh, look at the white people killing yeah. us. So it's based around, you know, the interactions of what was going on not in the front line of a party. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So the mother's at home, you know, the the husband's being gone. So when you know. Location, man. Okay. The location's great. The locations we had, I think, are really great. You can't really tell that it's in... Yeah. Because I don't know where it's... In the story where it's based. So, but It's like, not based anywhere. It just says South Africa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. That was yeah. smart. That was smart. I mean, I'm like, I think I asked him, I'm like, he's like, I'm not trying to be specific mm. with where it is. Mm. Yeah, because then know? it makes it harder because people are like, no, but this... Yeah, okay, true, Yeah, true, like, true. It, it's it's like, oh, okay, they say they here, yeah, but then but nothing, you know what I mean? And plus, like, the... The, the general locations have been overdone, mm. you know. We've done Soweto, we've done all those places. So he just chose a... I mean, the um, Russell helped with the scouting, right? I think so. Yeah, there's a lot of cool people just... who like played a role in this, but the location is cool. I like the, the Val location. Really? Okay, I didn't go to the yeah, Val it location. Yeah, looked, it looked like 
you know yeah. that one just looks like oh yeah poor black people yeah yeah um. it's like it's just poor people but that <laughs> one looked like hey man this is the 70s when we shot the gunfights i loved that i loved that it's literally just like a road but the way it looks ah oh, it's beautiful, beautiful i think picture. you guys are giving away too many scenes no, at this no, point not like, no 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 okay I mean, but i mean for for an apartheid movie you do expect gun scenes yeah. so yeah, yeah i mean i mean and it wasn't like it's it's also like mm. it's not the long anyway like i promise you the whole story is not about mm. violence or True. aggression it's that scene was there out of necessity but it, it's not about mm. it doesn't drive the exactly mm. like that film has such little dialogue but it says so much yeah it says so much with little dialogue it's beautiful so uh, do you know when the film is going to be out? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know yeah, we, we don't know, we don't know. People, are you guys done <laughs> filming it why are you guys laughing no. there's negative. like we had a we had a crazy week like, yeah, it was I the, mean one of the yeah, we worked a 24 hour day yeah one day. like 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 wow. I was like people like myself the director and um, the director of photography we literally were working 20 hour days every day yeah like I would leave set at one drive an hour home be back at five every day you just go home to shower you just home like you, you take a nap you take mm. a nap yeah. and you come so back are you home. done filming the, no we're the not movie. no we're not how many more weeks to go we, um we have as to far, Basically, we're gonna pick up. Yeah, we have to pick we have up. To do pick. But we as have far to as as far as I know, we were a day or two behind, and then yesterday's shoot didn't happen, yeah, so we're true. maybe three four days behind. Yeah. Okay. So Coco, what do you actually do on set? Well, I was working um, in as the a camera space department. Man. <laughs> she was no. my she was my slave. I was, no, he had his own slave name, space man. <laughs> she was my slave. I was working in the camera department, um, doing operating the slate. You know the people who hold that board, the the clapper board. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was doing, and I was third AD at times. And then Assistant if, director. And then basically, um, my space man. Please don't leave that. Well, up. Well, don't use codes because I mean, uh, yeah, on yeah, you don't uh, have today's to. uh, we we plan on looking into the film industry, kind of like unpacking okay, it. Cool. To be clear for all the people that sure, don't are, know okay. the film terminology. Okay. So, so third yeah. assistant director is basically you help out the director in any way you can and help out on sets and like I tend to the crew's needs. Like if Lesoko was to be like Coco, I need a cup of coffee, I'd have to do that. And she did that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. As as a director, you have no, to be assistant ma- director. Assistant director. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was Basically, like I direct the extras. So like if the director says, um, I need like five people who's gonna be walking around, I just have to tell them, Okay, you must walk that way, you must walk that way. Yeah. Oh, my job is okay. Like, like, and then she does the like the, the little things like yeah. quiet on set, she yeah. goes outside, we're shooting. Yeah. Well, no, no. Mm. I mean I had my own I had two spacemen, right? I had two assistants on the first day. And then something happened. I'm pulling. Like, you must have okay. And then something happened okay. on the second day. I had one. <laughs> first day, I had two assistants, right? Mm-hmm. Second day, I had one. And then third day, my assistants started disappearing. Okay, so maybe it's because you're a bit much. No, man. No, like, um, the, 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 the production was really stretched. Yeah. Like, we're, there was a bunch of us, but there was not enough of us. Yeah. Like, as in, if you were seeing us, like, yo, but give up an inch, right? Mm. But when it comes to, like, enough. application and enough. allocation, it wasn't enough. That's why Coco ended up doing some of the things mm. for us. Coco, we need this. Coco, do this. Coco, do that. Like, Coco was literally, like, picking up gear, like, heavy yeah. boxes while, while we were watching. But, Coco, what <laughs> yeah. are you actually studying for? Like, I'm um, studying film and television. I'm majoring in directing, writing, and editing. I hope to one day be a director. But, okay. you know, in this industry, you can't stay in one in one field. That's why I really love that the director hired me for a part where I've never I've never been in camera departments. I always just watch from a, dis- a distance. But mm. I really enjoyed it because I learned a lot. And my DOP, who's the director of photography, um, what you guys call the cameraman, but never. But call you him, never call him. Never a, call that's a DOP a cameraman. Like, like, yo, that is that's that is disrespectful. <laughs> okay, so if there's one thing you shouldn't do is call a cameraman a cameraman. Yeah, no, the thing is, no, <laughs> no he's not a cameraman. Because you, you can't even yeah. call him a camera operator. Even. You can't call him it because he's got like three people exactly, operating the camera. the camera. So he's he's basically the guy who's getting the shot. Yeah. The right angle mm. the right emotion the right you know the light as well like i need this i need mm. that so he's 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 really he makes sure that the picture looks, su- looks amazing. amazing yeah, yeah. so the, the, the director if you didn't know the director directs actors only yeah actually. so he'll like hey Katla, i need you to smile less i need you to do this i need you to do this and then the dop's job is to make sure that you know the frame yeah. is right and the light is right and the emotion that's trying to be you know okay but Coco, like, I'm really, like, you don't understand, man. Coco was lifting heavy, dog. Like, there was a moment where I was like, hey, this girl's working hard. 
and I was just I chilling. think I lost weight from this <laughs> no, no, it's not because of that. It's because of yeah, yeah, other things. Other things not, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't expose all those <laughs> other things. So you you think uh, you rate you you would want to do more camera work than you would editing and all the other stuff that um, you're studying? I wouldn't mind going into camera. Um, I, I've kind of sort of given up on editing, but you don't give up on things, right? Once yeah. you start something, you have to finish it. I mm. believe in that. But it's just... I really enjoy the camera, but obviously at the end, I want to write and direct. Even if I'm not directing myself, I'd rather write because I feel like, I don't know, I'm not saying like I'm a savant or whatever, but I feel like I have great stories and I feel like some things that happen, I swear, they don't happen to other people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she, was like, she was like, guys, you don't know what happened last night. Mm. So I get home, everyone is crying. Like, <laughs> so do you write some of these things? Are you, are you already in the process of writing down some yeah. of these stories? I have like three stories that I want to pitch next year to channels. Okay. Um, but I'm just very scared because this industry takes advantage of us, especially as newbies who are coming out. So I, I'm i scared. Mm. I How? What, what would you say are, are those challenges that uh, up-and-coming uh, directors or filmmakers face? Um, it's basically um, rights. Who does it belong to afterwards? Mm. And also once because obviously every channel has like a set of standards that they have to follow right so obviously they don't get shut down so that's another thing that they try and change your story and that's what i don't want mm. i want to come to you and tell you here's my script and then tell me okay maybe we can rather do it go this way like this. but the whole story should not change mm. so um, that's yeah, what i'm worried it, about the it's most. any it's any any art or any mm. entrepreneur type of thing is if you're looking for someone to help or fund you you risk losing the project exactly. because yeah. he's gonna be like, um, yeah, but me, I have the money, mm. you have nothing. Exactly. Or like, for instance, like I'm, I was really impressed. Like I was really impressed with the actors that we had. Yeah. Like Jet, Jet is like the executive producer, right? Yeah, so right. I think he's got some sort of a financial. I'm not sure, yeah. but his role, he's just like all he does is, hey guys, let's do our thing. He doesn't affect the story. It exactly. doesn't affect what people are doing. You know, he's not trying to direct. He's not trying to like, okay, this frame, this picture. So everybody was playing their role, which is amazing i think it's maybe like the director um he's got like some connections that we mm. don't know about <laughs> but, but everyone apart from the crew played their parts correctly yeah. but you know that um there's a uh, a lot of uh independent filmmakers that are out there that are trying to kind of like do their own thing what do you think about that because i really support it yeah but another thing is you've got to eat <laughs> yeah you have to eat because i cannot solely depend on being an independent filmmaker because then I will literally have to be depending on my parents until I like until the end. It's expensive. It's like, expensive yeah. too. It's really expensive. Like literally. if we can just tell you how much the gear that was there, how much it costs a exactly. day, a day. Just like to... like my equipment a day, whatever we had to rent out was at least five k a day. So mm. like where does she get five k a day? Yeah. And where does she get to pay me? Where does she get the money to pay the DOP? Where does she get the money to, for location transport? Like mm -hmm. it's a production. It's a real. Like, a lot if, yeah, even something so small, because we're calling it a small thing, but when you look at the financial investment in it, it's it's a big thing. Who will give you one million G for fun? Surely we must find ways to kind of like do television or film in, in easier ways. You know, some yeah. people have been looking into filming with their cell phones. What's your take on that? I really agree with that. It's not about the camera. It's about the story. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe it's more about the story because you can literally shoot a whole film on an iPhone, a film that was nominated for an Oscar was shot yeah. on an iPhone. You know, so I feel like as long as you have your iPhone and or you got whatever, good sound. you have good sound. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> you have good sound and the story is, it's moving. You've got it. You've mm. got it in the bag. So is that something that you would probably look into for those uh, three stories or two stories that you say you've already I am, written? Because I think I want to rather put it on YouTube and then take it to channel or they approach me because I feel like it's it's a great story for them to be like, hey, listen, mm. we want this. Because, I mean, if you have something scripted and you're sending through a script, uh, then then that's when people can have the, the choice of wanting to change your storyline. But if yeah. you already have it like completed exactly. somewhere and giving them a product that's already done, wouldn't it then be easier for, for channels to say, okay, we really like what you've already done. Yeah. Let's do it on high quality. Yeah, but then 100%. that's doing the work twice. But it doesn't matter yeah. though. It okay. just, it's... It's safer in a way because mm. you're gonna say, oh, "Here I am. I'm coming with." A like you give a already, prototype. You know? okay. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, hey, man, if if that's what you're trying to do, yeah, you give a brother a call. We'll try and and and, and, you know. and help you out. I mean, can I leave space men in now? You know, I met that <laughs> <that's what> I <laughs> you know, I'm, and I'm he met, calls I'm, them space Today man. he came I'm, in the studio <laughs> with such an ego. I'm like, what is I'm happening? I'm, I'm can you turn level, it I'm down? A level, I'm at a oh level where I can send people. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm that guy now. Please respect me. So he's got like, spacemen. I've got spacemen. Oh. I have a Caucasian. Who do you know who has a Caucasian? <laughs> like me, I have a white Literally, man. I have a. I think we need a break and a couple of tracks to turn down the sales ego because like right now <laughs> i am unable to deal you so can't even. no like i i literally can't but yeah, we will be back and i want to talk to you yeah. i'm upset i'm upset this, this you're this upset month. i'm upset mm-hmm. i'm upset it's like you are in drink upset <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately are you chesty yeah <laughs> no, i'm upset like I, I got i got a whole bunch of my okay own well own. we'll talk about what what's upsetting you after the break well do follow and interact with us on at underscore radio and our topic for today is film you know what to take on the film industry and the, the emerging artists that are coming out in this industry would you like to see more South African films coming out what to take what kind of it? stories do you want to see as well what kind of stories I'm do you want to see I'm tired of seeing witchcraft I'm tired of witchcraft yeah. like every story that comes out of South Africa people are drinking blood people are slaughtering things I'm tired of it can we like talk about like what what do you mean like what what do you want to see can we see like twerkers and stuff? Like, <laughs> <laughs> How is that storytelling? <laughs> I think it's because so many people want to s- tell stories of like some sort of history. Nah, I don't. You know? I don't agree with that. I, I don't mean, know. whose history is it? Like, I mean, in, in my I family, mean, tell 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 Go, go, the villages and all of those things. Nah, I mean, I'm like, I mean, it's cool, it's cute, and it's cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, there's certain scenes, like, I mm. like, that mm. guy, that guy's the business, <laughs> right? That yeah. guy, I love that guy. Mm. But I'm like, every story now has to have witchcraft. Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah, nah, well, okay, man. what kind of stories do you want to hear? That Joke, is actually jokes aside, I want to, I want to tell realist, I want. Um, Coco to tell if, if it's not completely fiction yeah. I want you to tell like a realistic okay. story yeah. because I hate it where like somebody will write a movie like all these movies that you like what three letters word love whatever and it just like every, everything <laughs> everything is like so perfect you know what I mean yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like this person yeah, is I an exec and it's not the re- it's not the reality of it Yohori, how many of these women are execs true, true. you know what I mean but then they painting it's one of the generations it's the most un- oh, it's the most unne- like what you call the word unrealistic thing ever yeah. okay. like you go from being a maid or, reggae, or building or on the advertiser in exactly. five years. Exactly. How that lady is now an advertiser. No, there was oh. a, there was a, <laughs> no but even there was a, yeah. out with a new one, the guy, they found him in a spaza shop, they told him you're a Morocca. Then the following yeah, week nah. he was now the nah, manager. He's making decisions. Uh, come like, on. I, mean, I get it. How do you know what a merchant is? We're running tuck shops. I mean, it's, it's no, cute. Man. It's cute. Come but on. I mean, we can't like, can we, do, do we not have any stories? Is that what yeah. we're saying? That every story has to be like, it's like the what the the, the, the capitalist dream True. where you're like an exec and your whole family has how many black executive uh, advertising companies? I guess they can yeah. show you Hori. It's possible, you, maybe. Yeah, you yeah, can. You can they, get to that. Do they all have to do that? The thing True. is, they they repeat the same not mistakes because they make money and I'm broke. Mm. But they <laughs> but they they make the same thing and then everybody's like, yeah. okay, everybody's gonna be super successful at whatever you do. Everybody's gonna have a witch doctor. But that's the thing shit? I was saying about once you take your story to channel, it's not yours anymore. It's theirs. So that's the thing, because sometimes they're just doing it to, this is what's going to give us money. Because channels thinking they're a business, I need to make money. I mean, I have a story, in, um, so. a local story that I really like. Um, I, obviously, I can't watch it as often as I want to, mm-hmm. but I really like um, the, the the mood and the tone of it. It's called um, it's Tembiso. Okay, it's so oh, realistic. Yeah, 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 it's so yeah, realistic. Yeah, it's like yeah. you see that everything is, like you know what I mean. Like even the bad guy is the bad guy in re- in the realistic terms. Yeah, where yeah, it's not yeah. like he gets away forever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't want to be Jack. How many times has Jack Ma was all killed and survived? Yo. Gone to jail, came back, Yo. died, came back. He's a starter, he doesn't die. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm, I'm not saying that. But which is a lie, though, because you can. Some people are defeated. That's why I don't believe in happy endings because life doesn't always have a happy ending Dude, you, you, I am you I really you. don't I hate those movies I hate a movie when it ends nicely and I'm like no not you should have died like, you guys should have broken up <laughs> like that's how you should have ended not <laughs> even, you know, you know if, what's the thing like for wow. instance we're trapped on an island right and we survive the monsters and then it's over like how are you getting home exactly <laughs> like can we see you guys get home can you tell it's me the like story it's also like in American of... films when they're in the car I mean in the cab and then they're like um, where are you going I'm going home the, the cab driver tells how do you know where she lives <laughs> <laughs> alright let's take five quick <laughs> yeah let's take a quickie we'll be back <laughs> harnessing the power of talk radio brandlive.co.za
Brandlive.co.za Sure, we're not supposed to keep things basic in Tanga. We gotta go next level. I come reading your windows, you know, you cannot block this The whole time I cop this, this monster was like the Loch Ness huh. It's just the softness of heart, just like a rock is Making all the ruckus, you still flag my G Now tell me what the flop is, why hate you before my darkness Tell me what the shock is, your timing and where the truck is Oh my god! Brandlive.co.za Fucking intro. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, first of all, what I like to say is fuck your feelings, so God, how we feel. Man, this shit up on my spirit. Took me almost 20 minutes just to get around this beat. But a lot, we nice and ain't got no need to fuck around with any recipients on the receiving end. I'm hogging shit like the powers in a cycle. Repetition is the triumph throughout the chains on the bicycles. Let's try to exchange hindsight and move along with time and never stay behind. Cruising on the ground and never stay aside. Every bitch I meet try to play house with me now. Every day Dylan's got a nigga foul shit. Cause some nigga situated on some falsified shit. The bar face looking at me like you're trying to find things. Check my icon. I'm decorated on some power shit Only time will tell Who you bumping on your playlist Only time will tell What you got is of some basics Only time will tell If only time will tell you what you got is now shit. Gal bodies, ganja kako chupa zorke takai. No pampering was ever done. See me walking on the streets, na no ratsuan. God damn it, I'm indebted to the shit. More like dedicated to the scene. I'm making show reels. Watch us live it out, you know it's all real. Uh, truth is, I can tell you how I feel. I could try to show you what it is. Spilling art back against the wall like graffiti. Bu easy. Blow me in my bar, Jory Chiti. Camp chest, these got me looking for the freak in my meek. Why go to so when I got weed? They say when I got my juku lane, he got it weavy. I get you such a flame. Probably think I'm running game. Got me trying to figure what it takes just to get a taste. Ooh, talking flavors. Juiced off the spaceships. I've been going in. Never snooze on a day shift. That shit don't make sense. Grind to the apex. Going all in. No tomorrow ain't a day left. I ain't with that talking. Let the banks make the statements. Yeah. Let the banks make the statements. I ain't with that talking. Let the banks make the statements. Only our shit on my playlist See my time just ain't for wasting So you copying and pasting Please just stop with all the fake shit If we drop it, it's amazing See the game is for the taking Finna hop back on my spaceship Y'all ain't do me any favors Ain't consumed by all the hate And all these doobies that I'm facing Life's a movie in the making You are now amongst the greatest That's the end of conversation Finna take it back to basics Yeah, yeah I'm finna take it back to basics Finna take it back to basics Give a fuck about what you saying, nigga
You're listening to brandlive.co.za. You are now listening to Carve Radio with Lepe Maifadi and me. We have returned. <laughs> yeah, we are back. Definitely do follow us and interact with us on at Carve underscore radio on Instagram and Twitter. and Twitter, of course. And let us know what you think of the film industry in South Africa. Do you think it's a growing industry? Do you think it's a growing industry? Definitely is. It's definitely yeah, I do. What what we it's did this past great. week is is mm. like I mean we apart from the, the the actors everyone there was like you know what you call what's the word that I'm looking for uh, freelancers free like album. everyone there was like you know I'm yeah. I'm getting something done so yeah. I mean it is I mean everyone like we have a really dope DOP yeah. dog really yeah he he yeah, he's dope. done he did um Ko's um this latest video he did um. He Prince was on, KB's and he was on the river. He was the DOP for the river. Yeah, well. so oh, he, he nice. works with um, yeah. Fence. Can I get Fence? Mm. Dude, like he's he's yeah, Fence Mwase has nice videos. Yeah, like yeah. do the KO. Like, cause when he was like, when I saw his T-shirt, I'm like, dog, did you by any chance shoot there? He's like, yes. Like, dog, that's cool. You need to check that video out for that. Um, KO's not. I guess he did like three songs now with mm. Kevin mm. before that. Dope, dope, dope song. Okay, yeah. well, that's what we're talking about today. We're looking into the film industry, looking into South African films. Do you think women are given enough of a platform or are kind of rising when it comes to this male-dominated industry? Um, I honestly think we're not getting enough. We're really not getting enough. Um, the previous produ- production I was working on before this one, mm. um, there was a female director, but she was co-directing with another male director mm. not that he's not good he's amazing but i wish she would have handled it by herself and plus it's a female story mm. so you know but oh so when it's a male story it must be a male guy no 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 no, no. no. no but i'm just why are you fighting but, I'm asking, I'm asking. but i mean like oh. what, I, what i'm trying to say is why did they have to partner her up with someone else she could have done it but she was capable enough to do it by herself we, we don't and know plus as well the another thing is when you do, when we do get those opportunities, right? Mm. Especially like I was in the camera department. Camera department is known to solely be for guys only. Mm. When people saw me, like, ah, oh, it's just a girl. Like, no, you know, like we get some. You'll get some people who will treat you like they'll make you feel like you're a female, and then. But I'm just not that type of person. I will stand up and be like, nope. I, I didn't it. make you feel like that. No, you didn't. I was sending you around. You were picking heavy boxes. Yeah. You were my slave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that was the focus puller when he first got there. But For real, he was I like... I was here as well. But no, I was but like, I don't, I don't think that was intentional to... because he was yeah, like the nicest... Pe- one is, of the nicest yeah, people he, on set. No, that, that's the thing. I think he was just like busting my balls just yeah, to be like, you yeah, know, Because like Nick, Nick is like yeah. the nicest person yeah, on set. Like jokes aside. He was he was the one who spoke for us. Like, but dog... You can't treat us like this. Actually, yeah, he came yeah, in he afterwards. Was came, yeah. He came in afterwards, after we'd all started, but he fought for us a lot. Yeah, like he, he was really like, did. but you can't treat us like this. You yeah. can't do this. this so I, he's like the nicest person. I mean, yeah. it's Lutuli, I mean, like one, definitely number oh, one. Yes. And then Nicholas. Hmm. Then myself. Oh, okay. I won't lie, Shem. After now that I've known you for so long, you are a nice guy, Shem. Yes, man. You hey, see. He was, yes. He's been waiting for this. Like, you should have just told him this There's, before the show yay. started. Because, like, this whole hour, we're just going to be hearing about him, how loving nice him, is, you, and... how you... Oh, gosh. No, man. I mean... I, I can't. Mean, I mean, I mean, um... Because I... Because, remember, it's, it's Women's Month, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I had a stern talking with my stepmother, and she was like, hey, it's Women's Month. You need to give props. So, um, after the first day, and I saw that, you know, Coco is part of the crew and she has to do what the crew is doing. So when my spaceman was not around, because my spaceman ended up being the production <laughs> spaceman. Yeah. He was true. driving, like fetching petrol and the generator's done. So Coco was, you know, mm. Coco fetch this, Coco give me this, Coco do this. And she was like, dude, I promise I did not do any heavy lifting. <laughs> I think my most heavy lifting was when we did the trailer on Thursday. Yeah, when you the photo when booth. we started singing together. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I was like, okay, it's late and like, like no one is trying to help, help. the set designer guy. Okay. So I did yeah, that. But sure. after that, nah, man, me my hands are not for hardly oh. me. So She's we have me. a film, a South African film yeah. that is coming out at the 
on the 18th. Which I think it's already out. The, yes. The okay. So it came out on the like 17th. Yes. Yeah. Farewell, Ella Bella. And it's an all female production team. Oh, beautiful. And yes. And it's the first feature film to emerge from the Emerging Black Filmmakers Transformation yeah. Fund. Oh, so nice. actually, the DTI and the NVF have created some sort of fund that they're giving out to females. Um, so I guess. You should look into that and maybe go yeah, apply no, um, and see if they can take your story. So yeah. you can hire me and pay me my money. <laughs> if Listen there's money, I that. don't work for free. <laughs> if there's money, I'm course, not working man, for free. Course. No, um, one of um, these people I look up to um, in this industry was telling me I shouldn't wait till next year. I should go to the NFVF. Hmm. She told me about that, but I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Don't be, don't Why? be scared. You, you know, if you have the story out there already, you might as well... Someone is gonna beat you to it. Do you know how stories are? True. Someone, someone is there's probably dreaming similar. about the and same exactly, thing you're dreaming about. There's a story on right Mzanti right that just popped up when two weeks ago, I think, yeah. or, and it's similar to mine. It's you not see? the same, but, but it's similar. It's you similar. See? And but is it like, about? It's about like girl meets girl, girl likes girl, <laughs> girl wants to. Obviously, there's some homosexuality part okay. of it, but that's not. That that's is not, not the driving the force. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And but the things I don't want to talk about because I don't want. Yeah, but. I just me, I still like, yes, me now, I'm going to write a script yeah, when well, I get home. Kel and Kel. <laughs> that's kind of, that's all I know. When I snipe, exactly. I need so. more information. What, what's, it, what's it about again? Okay, I, all I can tell you is it's called Kawegazi. Kawegazi meaning like heroin. 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 Mm. Yes. Okay. yes. All right, okay. cool. Whatever. You can keep, <laughs> can keep your little movie. You can come to my grad film, uh, what's it, film festival, then you can watch it there. Well, hoping that oh, I make it into the year, festival. This year, next year. Okay, cool. Hoping that I make it into a festival because, yeah, I need to I mean, it. now I want to do all the series. When is that? Tell now. us about, wait, l- mm. let's talk about the grad thing okay. first. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how does that work? So you get to third year and then they give you an assignment. Yeah, basically your only assignment in your third year is to do a graduation film, right? So um, you you write the script and obviously you put a crew together with your classmates. And they, what the school gives us is um, equipment because obviously equipment is expensive mm. and every other cost you have to basically hustle yourself. So once you get the grad film done and it's completed and it's, then the lecturers will watch it and then they'll choose like I think five between the degree students and the diplomas and then we take it to a film festival after our exams and then basically we sit there there's filmmakers there um, and sometimes they do try to get people like from the industry to maybe come be like hey we want to finance your film make it into a proper feature mm-hmm. you know so that's what happens so right now I'm just crossing my fingers is that my phone goes and this year they said we might go view it to a clinical so oh nice so is is the film done have you guys already it's done the film? done yes i've shot everything but you know, um if, if anything before we've been talking about it filmmaking is it'll never be as it, it's it'll never go as the way you wanted it to go like mm. right especially now, if you, you you have a limited budget exactly like right because now because once you mess up one day you need to find yeah. money for that day. So. Mm. And right now, as students as well, another thing is that everyone is like, obviously as students, we don't have a lot of money, right? So most people want to make it as if it's like, because people are calling it my film. I'm like, it's not my film. Yes, I wrote it, I directed it, but we're all getting marks. It's, yes. it's human initiative. Okay. You know, but I end up putting more of my own money in it because I really believe in the story and the crew I was working with, I want to take them with me, you know, if we're actually going to do this and put it out to channel or put it in no. cinemas. So what is that film about? It's the one that I want to pitch that I can't tell you guys about the <laughs> like, like. Okay, okay. So you took your first story, the the first story that you wrote, you actually now um, as a student project. Yeah, you yeah. created it. So Basically, when yeah. when is the the screening of this um, film? It's probably gonna be in November or early December. In yeah, sometime there. That's when the graduation school. thing is happening. Yeah, that's when it's happening. Cause Can we get an invite? To yeah, come definitely, to definitely, and guys. Please, yeah, definitely. Cause okay. I really want a lot of support on this thing. I want there to be buzz around the story so that yeah. when I do go speak to these people, they're like, oh, okay, we've heard something like, you know, through the grapevine, mm. you know. Mm. So. Well, then you might as well tell us what it's about. <laughs> okay. Because um, <laughs> it's done, right? <laughs> yeah, it's done. Well, guys, peer pressure. No, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. At this I mean, point, wait, how can we steal it's, it's, the story? Wait, wait, it's, it's August, done. it's August, right? Yeah. How long did it take you to shoot? Um, we only got three days. You only did it in three days. You shot it don't, in then, three days. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't then. If it, if it can Whoa. be done in three days, <laughs> that means I can go tomorrow. No, but the only reason why it's done in three days is because I had to change the story a bit. Now it's basically like, the one that I shot is like a pre- prequel to the actual okay. story that I actually had in the beginning because uh, the actual story okay. was going to cost too much. And like I said, oh, the okay. students, we don't got that money. Yeah, because so I was about to ask you, I'm like, uh, you and I were literally together for 20 hours every day for exactly. the past couple of days. When okay. do you when do you school? <laughs> I um 
Basically, I was banking school. I'm not yeah. saying, yes. To anyone listening who's a student, I'm not saying bank school, but ah. yeah, because you and Spaceman were banking. Uh, like, literally, we were banking. Yeah, because school, I'm like I've I've seen them every day for the past six literally, days. Literally, I haven't for 20 been, hours. I haven't been to school since the start of the second semester. I was from one job, and then I went to the one where we were with the circle. Because, um, honestly, you need to have that practicality and being on set. It's very different mm. from what we do as completely different okay and then how so does basically it work now it's what lectures what's happening in school um at school we have lectures we have um obviously assignments and we do have our practical classes but i honestly believe you need to balance both okay if you can't because just have a person who's in there for you like i have friends who are like making sure that i get my assignment briefs on time but the thing is because of the hours we were working i couldn't practically come back from set and be like okay i'm sitting and down do and assignments. Start, no, you couldn't like we literally could I not really do couldn't. anything for the post i could there was I, I didn't have time if i if i was gonna do it like i can push like push an all night and not sleep at all but i wasn't gonna be my best and i'm a person who wants no, to and pass. that that won't work <laughs> because it's not like when we say like 20 hour days we're not saying oh like there's two hours there no we're on our feet. Yeah, the whole mm. time. The whole time. Like, no. so. What school do you go to? I go to City Varsity in Bramfontein. Hey, yeah. girl. Those schools are not cheap. So you better make and sure not, hey, you get that degree at the end of the school year. Yeah, losers. definitely. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, definitely. I'm, I'm playing you better. You better deal. Like, that's why this week now, I'm just doing a catch-up game. Okay. Doing a catch-up and then go. But I honestly urge anyone who wants to go into film school, don't just sit in the classroom don't it yeah. helps you with nothing just to sit in the classroom yes you'll get the theoretical knowledge or whatever but you need to be on set you need to get your name out there you need to have that oh okay oh, we once had this child who came through like mm. they, they always you always need hands. to make some sort of always, connection exactly, you always yeah. need hands on set so okay even if you're helping out, just making coffee for people for this yeah. that's, that's it's still it, experience it, it, it's, it's of you being part. able to work on my a certain job, production my first job literally last year I was just like um, okay, we don't have school for three weeks because we don't have lectures. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, so I could either sit in the house every day watch series or go back home to KZN. I was like, no, but let me just go to, walk up to SAPC and be like, hi guys, I'm looking for a job. I'll, you don't have to pay me. And that's what I always tell people. Mm. Just go ask for a job. Just be like, don't pay me. Then prove yourself. Then after maybe a week or so, just be like, okay, I can have transport money because like, it's mm. kind of hard for me to get here or yeah. whatever. And after that, then people start to trust you. And that's how I got my first job. That's how I got the second job. And like now I can I can literally go and apply for an actual position, not as a, an intern. I can apply for a position to be second assistant director or to be in the camera department or something like that. Yeah, because, that's amazing. I mean, I mean, Big like, up dude, to you, Coco. Oh, Coco is like our go-to person. And now. Like I think the word Coco and action, <laughs> they were like mm. close to like, it's like when you need something, Coco! It's like, yes, sir, and she's running, and then, and then Coco, Coco, like, so she did her thing, man. It's just because my lecturer, actually, she's the executive producer of the film we were on. Yeah. Mm. When she was my lecturer, now we're friends. I, she was literally like, you're as good as your last job. So whatever job yes. you go to, because mm. our CVs in the film industry means nothing. Mm. They remember what you were doing before on set. Mm. So when they call and they ask, oh, listen, they're like, oh, yeah, Coco. It's we, always by referral. Like, yeah, exactly. I know someone, hit them exactly, up. Yeah, exactly. like, done. That's so, true. Yeah. All right. Well, Coco Leages. I like her so much. Yeah, also, I also like, I like Coco. Like, I Coco. mean, I like Coco. Like, Coco is like, hey, man, I just got to do what I got to do. I just got to keep Yeah, Coco's down. cool. Coco's cool. She's, and like, she's like, no, yeah. no, man, whenever. Oh, I just, guys. I got to be, I got to be in earshot. So when the director calls, I'm there. Like, she's like, I, like the furthest I've seen Coco was when I took a break. Mm. Because most of the time, she's always, like, next door to, to yeah. the dude. I mean, she did her thing, and I'm, it's the whole, you know, power to women, you know? And Coco, yeah. yeah. Coco is running with the homies, man. Another film that's coming out at the end of the month is called Something About Love, Looking for Love. You see. Oh, <laughs> well, oh. moving, I don't, moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a comedy. It's a rom-com, yes, okay. um, by Trevor Goombi, Lillian Dube is also there, Pindila nice. Guala is also there, the Celestine Tuli is the lead. Oh, yes, I saw the trailer. Um, it's directed by Adze Uga, right? I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so th- th- this film is coming out on the 30th. I, I don't know. I mean, the it could be pretty, fun. The trailer is pretty dope, I won't lie. Like, it looks very interesting. So it's fun. Well, obviously, it's, it's going to be funny. Yeah, it's a rom-com. Listen, no, you know. No, funny is going to be funny. Okay. Celestine yeah. Dooley is yeah, being exa- funny. You know, so... I have, I have, I have a, a, a question for you. Yeah. This is also like Women Month. Um, okay. But it's not about film. <laughs> Why? We're talking about film. No, no. Like, I told you I'm upset. Okay. So this is the Yo. first... So Issa Rae is coming, right? Hey, Wena. Come now. Issa Rae is coming, right? Yes. She's coming what? next week. What is she doing? She's coming to talk. About? 
about the industry and F4 at a women's conference. So there's going to be a, South Africa. Yeah. Yes. So so essentially. Why so why are we getting someone from overseas to come and talk? Hold about on, hold on. That's not even, like that's not that's not why I'm I'm I'm, okay. I'm upset. Okay. So are you essentially, upset? she's coming to empower and motivate women, right? Yeah. yeah. Why take it to one thousand two hundred and fifty rand? Because of the experience that they're giving you. No. There'll probably be food. That's the VIP. Like, there'll be food. <laughs> no, there'll be a goodie bag. Nah, nah. Yeah, hey, it's yeah, about the experience. Women, it's women. not just Issa Rae who's coming to speak there. But Tandy Zomazoi lives down the road here. <laughs> so, can so, you go to Tandy Zomazoi right now down the road and go nah, g- ask yeah. her something? No, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Like, 1,250 rand is a lot of money. I it's, think we could have rather... It's a lot of money. I'm, I'm looking at the price. I'm not looking at the, at the what you get. I'm looking at the amount of money. That means that only people like who work or not even work, like people who like can afford such things. Mm. It's not everyone. Mm. Students can go. Yeah, I know. You know, like Motobergang one year, two year, how long ten thousand? She can go. Maybe you're not ready for Issa Rae if no, you can't go though. No, no. I, I, I really like. I was disturbed. <laughs> I was disturbed by when I saw the price this morning. I was like one thousand two hundred and fifty rands. Well, I think she's not gonna dance. She's gonna twerk. U- Unati is gonna be there. She'll be dancing. Unati, which Unati? Unati. 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 Yeah. Ah, like we don't. Nobody wants to see that. <gasps> we do. Let's see her. We do. Like yeah. What Let's see her. Put some respect now. on it, okay? Like Tani Zomazaro is there. What do you need Unati for? Oh, anyway. Hey, when we need Unati there, she's an amazing person. When Tani Zomazaro is there. Yes. Okay. She's yeah. also there to talk as well. Let's see oh, her. Okay. Come now. Stop. Okay. Shut up. Cool. Yes. I'll keep quiet. And one more thing, I know. So this is what you were upset no, about. No, no, you know what? And before I start my rant, um, and Issa Rae is going to teach us how to figure out how to do this digital thing for one thousand two hundred and fifty. Yes, I want those secrets. But do we really need to be told how to like look at these um, young slay queens? They just go onto YouTube and show us how to put on makeup. And do we need one thousand two hundred and fifty? We don't need Issa Rae to come all the way from America to come and tell us. One thousand two hundred and fifty. It's very easy to put something onto YouTube and create a page. You just need to have a Gmail account. Mara, look at how she did it. Open when a Gmail account. Get it done the way Issa Rae will get it on. done. Let's see if you like can do you, it. You guys are making it seem like Issa Rae. Like, no, 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 like yeah, disrespect. You, she's not the only one who's done this. Mm. Like people true. have done it before her. True, true. She's just that you guys like her show and she's black. That's the only reason. A yeah. lot of people have done this before. So is yeah. she worth the 1250 Yes. I get when when people bring old people, then you guys say, no, why do you always bring us rejects? Like how the no, other no, no. day we were talking <laughs> about... <laughs> you remember that other no, day I, we were talking about Chris Tucker and you, you had a problem like, why are we bringing Chris Tucker? Why, how is he relevant? But now we're bringing Issa Rae. She's relevant. But she's why? Trying, you wait, still she's don't want that. She's trying to do a good thing. Why does it cost so much? That's all I'm saying. I respect Issa Rae. I don't watch the show, but I've watched the show. Yeah, we're here to make it's sure right. Issa Rae gives us season four of Insecure, you okay? See. But then so, I'm, I'm like, it's the, people, all right. the, the people who can afford this, though. Anyway, one yeah. thing, can I just slot in this thing? Mm-hmm. It's not about women. I repeat to the uh, Soweto boy. Yeah, Go number kid. one Soweto boy. Yeah, man. Um, we're going to miss the homie, man. Um, we're, well, the funeral is a funeral. Mm-hmm. I saw the. the, the Were tomb. you at the funeral? Ah, negative. I was dying. I'm dead. Okay, you saw what? The tombstone with the, the things. The <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah, the what? Like, the what? The what? The what? Yeah. Tombstone and I like steps. And I like steps, steps, steps. And then I like steps. And then and on top of that, and then he's chilling there. I think it's this picture. This picture. Show me the picture. It's on the tombstone. This picture. This one. Oh, okay. Oh my. <laughs> like I saw that it's a funeral, yeah. Black people in funerals yes. like this. It was a funeral. So um, oh, joke, joke. jokes aside, man. Um, yeah. We lost uh, a great dude. Yeah, yeah. Last week we spoke to Bitume uh That yeah. is someone. Uh, publicist uh PR Yagomabala noise yeah. and he mentioned that actually Pro had two hundred songs that are not out yet that yeah. he recorded what? so so yeah so, so hopefully uh Mabala Noise is gonna drop those tracks so that we can hear you yeah. know like what he was gonna Is this up. nigga wearing the same watch as I'm wearing right now? Oh my Ah he's I've got style yeah when yeah. I, can you focus? No my jokes is like R I P to the homie man like he's he's done so much for the culture jokes aside. Yeah. You know people always say yeah, the culture, but he's done like a lot for the culture. Oh, there's like, the oh, picture. Wow. Steps. I told you there's steps. Look at this thing. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six steps on the tombstone. Guys. Oh, that's hectic, man. This is a funeral. This is this is Ay, not this hectic. is not a it's not a small thing. It's a funeral. This thing. Wow. I'm upset. Oh no. Yeah. 
dude, this week, like Coco can attest, we had a crazy week, man. Mm. I'm sure we're, we're sick. I'm sick. The only reason I'm like this is because I'm on the show. I'm fatigued. I can't come here and be like, yeah, you know, mm. I'm dying. I'm sick. And yeah, then you, well, and that's then what you, you get. And then go, you go make home, that money. And then you go home and you have to deal with like people's little problems that they make. Like, like human beings are like really self-involved. You know that, right? We are. We're horrible people. Like we're friends. horrible. Human beings are horrible things. I mean, you tell someone, yo, I haven't slept in three days. I've got flu. My sinuses are acting up. Mm. Money things, money things. Like, yeah, I'm tired. I only slept at eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, okay. I mean, like, dude, like, it's so self-involved. It's all noise. Like, like, no, like, I'm really, I'm really angry at the people in my life. I promise you. Like, okay. Friends and, also they don't understand and how all those making things. Making a film works. Not even making know? a film. It's in general. It's like, yeah. dude, for, you, I told you for the past four weeks, so it's, it's been schedule, yeah. Hmm. Crazy schedules, crazy hours, and these people supposedly know, but then this person is like, why aren't you at my pride? Because I have not slept. You know. Why you? You know what I mean. Then you have to deal with Katako's PMS and huh? moods. Not you, not you, not you directly. But I mean your moods and all. I'm like. Things. I mean, I'm really upset. I'm really upset. Say, like, like he's on you. Like, like, like <laughs> we need, we need, like, oh, don't we need some TLC, some some tender Ew, caring from people? Yeah, listen, no. just get a person. That's yeah. what you need to do. Get a person. Stop this player life. Say, yeah, like, stop this player say, life of yours so that you can get home, so that someone can be concerned someone. about you. Hey, baby, how you doing? Yeah, how just, was your day? Lie here dude, as like, you're right sick now, as a right dog. Now, right now, here just, are some pills. Right now, Take care of you. The only people care about me are my mother and my dog. Like when I when I go home, my dog is like, "You back." I just want your attention. I don't want anything. I just want you. My mom calls me, man. Like it's two o'clock in the morning. Are you safe? Are you okay? Yeah, well, that's what mommies do. I think I just need another mother. So you want to date? You trying to get a girl that's gonna be a mommy? Like, like, yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I mean, I'm just upset. Well, anyway. well, you lick your wounds. Okay, that's that's Lesikho's Monday. Let's hope tomorrow he has a better day. I mean, nah. he's having a blue Monday. I I can't. I'm working. Okay, well. Katlaha is not having a good Monday, a uh, uh, blue Monday. How you, how you feeling? Mine's pretty. It's good. It's light blue. Yeah, yeah, it's light blue. yeah, let's try to have also, less. Also, it's, it's my problem, Kili One. I thought me and you were together here. No, no, no. All that right. doesn't. No, you have a blue. You having a blue Monday. That yeah. doesn't mean I'm having a blue Monday. But I'm with you. Like but I by, feel by solid, you. By solid, uh, yes, I can't also not Monday. have a blue one because you, you know it's just gonna make no. two miserable For people. people. Yeah. What's the point? So you're happy and I'm sad. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I see how this thing works. Coco, <laughs> you know. Yes. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yes, thank you for having. Thank me. you so I, much I'm, for coming I'm through. So, I'm so glad I met you. <laughs> like I'm genuinely so glad I met you. Okay. Yeah. So now Lisa has a new friend. No, she's too young to be my friend. Huh? I'm like, how are you? Like 21. <laughs> oh, but thank you though. I'm 24. Oh. Okay. I've been like two feet. I'm not my not my grandchildren. Whoa. I'm not going to be the youngest. I'm not going to be the youngest. I'm not going to be no, okay. You know, you, you, I got you, Coco. Yeah, man. Like, well, that's really... all we have for today's show. We will be back next Monday with more exciting content. Of course, do follow and interact with us on at Calve underscore radio. And hopefully we're going to have more exciting female content to wrap up this woman's yeah, month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yes. This is not the last one. No, the there's female. another woman's show coming this up thing next is week. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, think, I feel like we've had five. Let's see how you will thrive in September. I do goof, goof, goof oh, the so, house. So, okay. <laughs> oh, so, like you heard, you will it. thrive I, I in September. September. It's a party. Yes. Day. <laughs> August Trokers, is mine, like honey. Invite me. Yeah, but please. Yeah. Lady Turk at the house. But please. Uh, whenever you're a woman, you're going to take all the. Hey, whenever, you, you know the women, <laughs> mine, I know. I don't want to bring like women here and then you take all the. I can bring you twerk contestants if you want. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what's schedule before they cut us off schedule let's look at the first week okay it's the, the, it's the, it's while the, they schedule that we are going to be out of here it's the third, it's the third on the third let's peace out twerkers on the third yeah. peace out harnessing the power of talk radio brandlive.co.za